All right, 40K enthusiasts, this is building from yesterday's GW question. And, and I mean this, not from a clickbait point of view, but if executed correctly, executed correctly. And honestly, a year ago or two years ago, I would say no way. But now I'm like, you know, the community really didn't say boo. When they destroyed Space Marines and everything's Primaris, there was no revolt. So if it happens for the entire system, I think we would just roll with it. I mean, otherwise, what choice do you have? No grim dark for you. So the focus, the question of today's vlog, should Games Workshop just kill off 40K? Should they just kill it off? Should they pull a Warhammer Fantasy, long live the old world, only to resurrect it years later, and send it out for every digital IP possible? But from that perspective, in exploring it, I, I, I feel like Games Workshop and where they've taken 40K is, is kind of stuck. It's kind of stuck. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do your own thing. It doesn't mean we can't pull out the Black Library and do our own narrative. But in terms of, of kits and releases and taking things in new directions, I feel like Games Workshop was, was kind of stuck in that, and this is true of every edition, Space Marines get the love. They get the new kits. Well, they sell. You know, the secret sauce on that PowerPoint presentation they show the um, the executives and the shareholders is Space Marines sell. New players play Space Marines. And for some reason, if you don't play Space Marines in six months, you will be playing Space Marines because you'll start your own Space Marine army. So it makes sense to show them the love, give them the new book, give them the new kits. We've saturated the market with Space Marines. So we're going to advance the story just a little bit so we can work in super space marines aka primaris and people will rebuy them all and now your army will be primaris and mini marines are out it's funny when i show up with my mini marines and and play them from time to time uh you know the looks you kind of get um my old school classic gray knights still look fantastic they they still seem kind of sized appropriately but this kind of leads to the perspective of and, you know, on a side note, side, side, side note, uh, years ago at the Games Workshop Games Day in Baltimore, they they had a life-size orc, a life-size orc show up. And this wasn't um, necessarily like a cosplay type costume. It was a life-size orc costume promoting the Xbox Space Marine game at the time. And this orc was huge. And we're not talking about a war boss or um, a biggin or a knobs or something like that. We're, we're just talking like an orc boy. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I, I'd last like five minutes. I think that the, the actual stat is eight minutes for an Imperial Guard uh, soldier once deployed. But if I had to take on an orc with a las gun and a bayonet on the end, just that flashlight, like, wow, I could see how orcs would be terrifying. And thinking back to that, where you see Primaris and you see Space Marines, the size of them and going toe-to-toe with orcs, the regular orc models now look like kind of like little grots. They, they, they just seem out of scale, out of scope to really, really be terrifying. I mean, you know, Necron undead space robots can be them. They even beefed those up. Space elves are space elves. But I, I feel like the scale has been locked with 40K. And 40K is just going to be a continuation of the same, of the same, of the same. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? I don't know. They sprinkle enough release kits. They sprinkle enough limited edition stuff. They get you, Age of Sigmar doesn't seem to be like this, but they're getting you to buy $60 books every two to three, four months to keep your army current. The, the secondary sources, one could say you've got a good stream of money coming in. Don't rock the boat. Absolutely keep it. But then I think you look at Age of Sigmar and how that played out. And I have to say, myself included, a lot were really skeptical. I think it got to the point where they weren't making enough money on Warhammer Fantasy that they, they had nothing to lose. Because Games Workshop is not going to act unless it's it's absolutely dire. So they destroyed the old world, of course, after they had you go out and buy all those end time books. And from there, they relaunched it. Well... I think they got a lot right. Now, whether that's Tactica genius or just, you know, look, they got lucky and we'll keep it at that. Um, Age of Sigmar, I feel like, can grow and and have so much more in terms of new models, in terms of, of new things to explore. 
compared to 40K, where it's the same, the same, the same. That's not a criticism. I, I like my Grimdark. But I, I just wonder sometimes if Games Workshop was like, look, we're really going to reboot this. We're going to gonna reboot the rules and, and bring them more up to something different than an 80s you go, I go type game. And in revamping those rules, we're going to blend, blend the faction lines a little bit more. And we're going to now be free to create some new kits and some new aspects um, from that. I think that's really, really interesting. Um, and I would be kind of interested in that from a perspective of a longtime 40K player. So is there some value in killing 40K? Or most likely, as I tend to feel, it's good enough and it's making tons of money. And for now, for now, it's still number one over Age of Sigmar and, and Lord of the Rings. So you, you don't mess with your cash flow. You don't mess with your cash flow. When it starts hemorrhaging and it starts to slow down, which I don't think it is from that perspective, maybe at that point. But your thoughts and opinions of 40K, if we got to the point where it had a reboot, complete reboot, Age of Sigmar and 40K, do you think that would make the game better? Or do you think it would be a tipping point in that a lot of players would leave and we might not get the influx of new players necessary to catapult it like they did with Age of Sigmar? 